The CHP, the combined heat and power, uh, really goes back to our roots. Smethport is here because of the force that wrap around it. And the thing that made Smethport click and work and grow was our usage of this natural resource. And so what we're doing here with the combined heat and power demonstration project is to utilize our forest, but do it in such a way that we um, take care of the forest and make it sustainable. What we're really trying to do is to develop a win-win situation in terms of renewable and alternative energies where we uh, address environmental issues and at the same time develop uh, energy resources that can contribute to uh, lower energy costs and more economic opportunities for the local um, communities. We had a real opportunity in the community of Smithport to be able to utilize our woody biomass resource that is surrounding the community to actually provide all the heat, hot water, and electric power within the community of Smithport. Smithport happens to own its own electric company, and we've never had our own power plant. And so we buy the power wholesale, and the money has always historically left our economy. With the CHP plant, we will be utilizing our fuel and recycling our income and our money from this within the county and driving our local economy. That's what makes it so important. When doing a project like this, the partnerships that are created are critical. And all of us working together with the leaders in Smithport is really what's making this project actually move forward in a positive way. My thanks to Penn State Extension for what they've done for Smithport and McKean County, and my thanks to Penn State for, for bringing the wisdom that you have there to us and allowing our community to develop. Smithport's a great opportunity for demonstrating um, renewable energy. And our hope is that developing some of these alternative energy possibilities can make Pennsylvania a better place to live.